arguable reasons to, inarguable, sorry, not arguable, <laughs> inarguable reasons to strength train. Um, increased strength, uh, obviously, that's a basic, but that means improving also control and balance, which of course, as we get older, no matter what gender we are, that becomes more and more of a risk for injury. Um, reducing blood pressure, you know, you will know most of these, most of these things. But the, the things that relate to menopause, like the reducing symptoms of, of depression, I think, and, and heart disease and type 2 diabetes, osteoporosis too, these are, and the sleep disorders, these are very important for us at this age. Um, so that's a, th just those reasons alone would be a good reason to strength train. Um, cognitive decline is another um, way it can help. I've spoken about posture and, and function um, before, but I think that remains an imperative thing for me. I, you know, just this idea of being more open in the chest, more upright. A client in class was saying the other day, you know, she went to a birthday recently. She's in her late 50s. Mid, mid to late 50s and she was saying that she was hor she, she, she stood back from the party and, and, and it was all females and they were all around sitting at the table eating um, I guess cake and uh, she said she was just horrified and shocked by the postures she said every almost every one of them was rounded in the upper back um, and just totally closed off and then just looked older than they were because of their posture. So we really do want to sort of keep a more upright and functionally strong body um, moving into later years. Um, of course, if you've got back problems, it's one of the best things you can do. And, and to just change body shape, make it more toned. Um, it's perfect for that. It's perfect. So uh, specifically as it relates to osteoporosis, I think this is important because we lose bone density uh, year on year uh, from the age of 30. Uh, and in the five to seven years following menopause is when we lose an enormous amount. So 20%, potential 20% is extremely high. Um, so you definitely want to, yeah, you want to do things that cause a reaction against the bone. So the muscle pulling against the bone uh, and that in turn will cause a stimulation of bone and a regrowth especially when your diet is good and when your digestive um, uh, processes are working well, we can actually uh, re-bone, rebuild bone or improve bone density very nicely. Excess estrogen production, if you were not going, so there are extremes in terms of estrogen, there's obviously the drop, but there's also excess uh, or called estrogen dominance, which actually can result in fluid retention and bloating itself. But the more lean muscle mass you have, the less and the less fat mass you have the less likely you are to be estrogen dominant so it's another way of just making sure you stabilize uh, hormones better is with this um, strength training 